Hey, I'm Melissa. And I'm Michael. And we are the Adventure Travelers. And today we're going to uh, be talking to you about renting your RV, and this is in our boot camp series. And we're going to turn the comments off so that you can concentrate fully and we can concentrate fully more exactly. about the content we're going to talk about. Perfect. Okay, so as we mentioned, we are the Adventure Travelers, and here's a quick background on who we are and uh, why you should be listening to this and looking at this. And why we have the experience we do. A couple years ago, actually about three years ago, we sold everything that we had to make money to fund our trip and so that we could sail to the South Pacific. It was a 10-year dream that I had and I always wanted to do it. And luckily enough for me, I had my beautiful wife, Melissa, here with me the whole time. And as you can see from these pictures, it was absolutely beautiful. So we sold to Mexico, French Polynesia, and Hawaii. It was amazing. But we needed an exit plan when we returned back to San Diego. Exit plan meaning, what are we going to do when we get home from all these travels? We don't have a job. We don't have any stuff. So what are we going to do? So we sold our RV and we purchased a class. Excuse me. No, we didn't sell our RV. We sold our boat. <laughs> Oh, the beauty of live. All right. So we <laughs> sold our boat and we purchased a Class C RV. There she is. With the intent on renting it out after we were done full-timing. We traveled around the United States and Canada and Alaska. And so that's what you see there. Look at this amazing glacier. And our RV got us there. Along with our Prius. But it was time to rent after our extensive travel. So after we traveled for a couple of years, uh, we knew it was going to be time to make money. So we had to get serious about our exit strategy. So let's jump into uh, some of the RV rental basics. So you're going to rent out your RV to make some extra income. You might be working full time or not working at all or retired, but renting out your RV is a great way to make that extra income. You can actually rent out a fifth wheel, a class B, a class C, which is what we have. All these different types of RVs can be rented. And renting does have some extra benefits, right, Mikey? Yeah, it keeps your RV running smoothly. And you know, you keep your tires and your systems and your engine running smoothly as well. And also it can help with uh, reoccurring costs like insurance and registration and tires and RV payments. So how much can you make? Well, you can make a lot. We made over $25,000 in one summer. You yeah. couldn't believe it. And um, you can pay off probably your RV in a couple years or less if you really buckle down and have a good time and, and do this seriously. So making this much money in one summer, we could pay off our brand new 2018 RV in just a couple of years. So right. if you have an RV that's less expensive than ours, uh, you can probably pay it off in less. Right. And there's a couple of marketing platforms that you can use. Right. And the two most trusted are... Outdoorsy and RV Share. Yep. They're both excellent platforms uh, with an enormous online presence. Right. They, they do a lot of marketing. Uh, but you do have to pay to play to use these uh, websites and all their marketing benefits. Each platform has a commission, and you have to understand what that is and why they have it. Most online platforms where you earn money or you freelance or whatever have some kind of commission. So Outdoorsy and RV Share are the same. Outdoorsy is 20% of your rental price. So for, for example, if you rent an RV for a week, whatever the total is, they will take 20% of that. Right. RV Share has 25% in the, for the first rental. 20% for the, the second, second rental right. and then 15% for the third. Exactly. And it goes for a lot of different things. Um, what do you get for all of that? Um, it seems like a lot of money and we thought that to begin with um, at first, but if it wasn't for them, we would not have any way to rent this out. Um, we love Outdoorsy. They have a really strong online presence and target marketing. A lot of target marketing. Yeah. And um, they have a great insurance package that comes with the rental of the RV. Yeah, it's like a million dollar insurance <laughs> policy. So it's pretty good. And it comes with that million dollars 
is part of your 20% uh, commission that you're paying them. So it actually pays for itself in that aspect. RV share is also excellent. We did really well at the beginning um, with RV share. They have great customer service and 24 seven roadside assistance that comes with the rental. Uh, but you do pay extra for the uh, insurance and for our RV, our renters paid about what, $24 extra right. um, per day. And, what, and what's pretty funny is Melissa and I are super competitive. So I chose to do the outdoorsy platform and uh, Melissa did the RV share platform. So when RV share was really hitting well, she was kicking my butt and I was like, oh man, I got to get more. I got to get more. I was so kicking his butt. So then I, uh, then we switched it around and then outdoorsy became more prominent. Uh, thanks to my marketing skills. Oh brother. <laughs> I think it was just good luck. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we made a, we made a quite a bit of money this year just on extra stuff so we also uh cross market because you just can't let it sit there and hope for the best you have to get online you have to blog about it um we have our adventure the adventure travelers website we have the adventure travelers youtube uh, we have our facebook groups word of mouth we have flyers on the rv um, because you're always going to get referrals from your friends and family. Right. I mean, okay. So let's jump into it and let's get, let's get started. started. All right. First thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to build your web page. This is perhaps one of the most important things you're going to do because this is the first thing people are going to see when they scroll through all the rentals in the area where they want to go. So photos are the key. If you don't know how to take good photos, find your neighbor, your friend, your cousin, your brother, anybody who can. You've got to stage your RV like as if you were selling your home. You know, like when the realtors come in and stage your home, they fluff the pillows and they make everything perfect. Right. You have to do that with your RV. And time and time again, we've had people tell us how much those photographs influenced that they chose our our RV over others. Right, and you also have to, when they show up to get your RV, it has to look exactly like the photos. It can't be, uh, you can't bait and switch, you can't do anything different because people wanna see exactly what they did, or excuse me, what they saw. Uh, what they uh, saw. saw online. Yeah. And you know, if we had smell-o-vision, our RV smelled really good all the time too, because well, I would smells brand new. So. Mop, I I would mop every time. I you know wash all the sheets and the linens every time, so it, it continues to be fresh. Um, so that's a huge important aspect of this. Right, and I also made some videos, uh, some other YouTube videos, uh, how to create a money making profile on Outdoorsy and also on RV Share. And that's on the Adventure Travelers channel. Also, you can have add-ons to your RV. And so when someone clicks on your profile, you know, you have a basic price of a daily rate and then you have little add-ons. Okay, I have a grill, I have a, a Wi-Fi extender, I have pots and pans, I have sheets and linens and towels. Just different kinds of add-ons. Right. Um, you really have to choose your add-ons wisely because people don't want to pay for every single thing. You want to give your renters a value. And um, so, for example, price your linens and your towels and things that you have to wash and it costs you money to, you know, wash, wash linens and, and towels and maintain, right? right? But a grill just sits there. Um, you know, chairs just sit there. Why not let your renters have those for free? Um, it's really a, a good upsell kind of a thing. Um, we offer uh, our cell signal uh, extender for free. It's a booster. Yeah. And and we also offer free Wi-Fi. It's uh, already part of our plan, so might as well offer it to our uh, guests. In your pictures, that's also another thing you want to show is what makes your RV different from bob down the street well you know people like starbucks mugs when they come onto ours they like the idea that they have a coffee pot we have kids videos tons of videos for kids and books um, and again our wi-fi extender so take pictures of those things that are on the rv that they can really take a, a advantage of so um, our motto is really um 
Keep it easy to maintain and it shouldn't cost you a lot of money. Right. Uh, people have done really expensive freebies, but then that cuts into your profit. And, you know, you, this is a business like anything else. Right. And we're trying to help you get the most money for your business. Both platforms have Instamatch and SmartMatch. This is a way where they take the algorithms of who's looking for an RV and they pair it up with what yours is. So, for example, if someone um, from, you know, the East Coast is looking for an RV in San Diego, aha, ours is going to come up. Right. Um, class and C. a Class C in this price range, in this um, year, make and model and that that sort of thing. So that's going to come up as either an Insta match or a smart match. And there's also two ways you can do this. You can also go out and look for people that are renting, uh, are looking for those kind of rentals. That's what Melissa did really well in RV Share is she actually went out and contacted these people that were looking uh, before they contacted us. She went out there and contacted them. Right. So you'll get a listing in your um, inbox of all the people who are looking for RVs in your geographic area. You have to be careful of where that is. And uh, you can click on them, you can write them a message, you can give them a YouTube link, which we did a wonderful YouTube right. video that was as good as our photos and people loved it, loved it, loved it. So um, we can give, give them a message and say, hey, we still have these dates, are you still interested? Here's our video, you can check it out, you know, to see if this is the RV for you, you know, and it's a way to commu start communicating with people. Right. And when you do all these things, you're going to get really busy. And yeah. when you get really busy, you're going to need two calendars. And this was something that we kind of figured out the hard way. <laughs> um, but we decided on Google calendars because we have our outdoorsy platform and we have RV platform. And they both have separate calendars. There's no way to mix and mingle. So what we would do is when Michael would get a, a booking on Outdoorsy, I would get one on RV Share. We would immediately, like without delay, put it onto the Google Calendar right. so that we knew that that date was booked out. We would also and go to the other platform exactly. and book it out of that one too. So it was on all three platforms. It would be on Outdoorsy, it would be on RV Share, and it would be on our Google Calendar. But since Google Calendar either Melissa or I at any time can go on there. It's on our iPhones. Uh, it was really easy to see what dates were available. Part of some of our forms package that you might want to get a download in the future uh, has our checkoff lists, and these were critical for us. Yeah, we have a lot of information we can yeah. share with you. So this could be the best job you ever had, at least a best side job you ever had. I'm pretty sure that um, it's one of my favorite things to do ever because it gets you connecting with people on your own schedule. You can rent um, when you want to rent and you can travel in your own RV when you want to travel. Yeah. So uh, we went to Zion and we yeah. booked out our own RV on all the calendars for a couple of weeks um, so that nobody would rent it during that time. We did all of Utah and it was it was perfect. Right. And we like to go off season anyway, so it was perfect for us to do that. Now, we do not live in our, our RV full-time, obviously. Um, if you do live in your RV full-time, that's a whole different um, scenario. It's a little more challenging, but for us, you know, we don't live in our RV, so we right. can have it ready to go at the at the second. And some people might be a little scared to do what we're suggesting you do, and we understand that. I, not this is not for everybody. So if you are, you know, not even interested in this, then you know, I would just say this isn't for you. But this is for all the other people that say, hey, I can make extra income using my RV that's just sitting there in a parking lot or a storage facility. I mean, it's a it's a great way. I mean, 25,000 bucks in three months, you can't beat that. I'd rather spend that money on travel and, you know, paying off our RV and makes a lot of sense to us. Right. Okay. So now you're going to meet with your renters and then you're going to do a handoff with your renters. So, so you've scheduled everything and now it's time for uh, the renter to come either from out of town or we do actually a lot of locals here in San Diego, right, a right. lot of local but we've families. Done, we've done international too. We've, we've done, done from Mexico and yep. Brazil. And, That's right. Uh, we used to meet people down by the airport, but that was cost prohibitive for us after a while. So uh, we decided to get something closer to home. Yeah. And people people just, could just Uber. Yeah. 
Um, so now that you have the rental, you have the booking, you meet the people um, and helping them to have an amazing vacation is probably the best thing and the community that you feel. Um, we have a little guest book that we put on the RV and the, the kids signing up and signing in is so adorable. So you're not just, you know, renting your RV to make money. You're actually changing lives. You know, you're making a difference in people's family vacations, their reunions, their, you know, um, holidays, everything. And it's, it's really amazing. Exactly. It's like a Airbnb for your RV. Yeah. And Melissa always wanted to do a bed and breakfast. So now she gets it's to kind of my uh... fantasy. So, it's <laughs> so like now, a, now we get to do it's it. It's a bed our... and breakfast on wheels. Exactly. <laughs> but we so look forward to reading uh, the little comments from people um, after they've left our RV. It's so adorable. Yeah. So this is the uh, conclusion of this first little video. Uh, we'd like to thank you. And eventually I'm going to do a Boot Camp 102, which will get more in depth in this. And also that's going to give you some more bonus information, other ways to make extra money and some frequently asked questions. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. We appreciate it. I'm going to uh, show you right here this little website. Please go to our website. And this is the first way to get started. This is our the Adventure Travelers RV 101.